Okay, so I'm back with a new video and let's talk about Heretic. Finally, finally, I saw Heretic. It's not even officially out here. I just went to a press screening and I was really looking forward to this film. I don't exactly know why. Maybe I would say it's because one it's a24 and i'm always looking forward to a24 films obviously it's a horror film but i watched the trailer the first trailer once and it really intrigued me and i thought this is gonna be like a really interesting one that i didn't want to know anything else so, like i watched that trailer once and i'm gonna get into that and that was enough to like just make me excited about the film so i'm really excited to talk to you about it so i guess let's get to it so how am i gonna put this without telling you too much um i think i'd say that eretic it's about two girls two missionary girls that go to this uh guy's place this man's house and uh, yeah there's something sinister about this man uh this man that is played by you grant and because we're already on the cast so this film stars as i said you grant it also stars sophie thatcher i think that's how you pronounce her name and chloe east which i didn't really know her but she really reminded me of thomasine mckenzie especially in this film like i don't know sometimes i was looking at her and i thought i know her but no it's a completely different actress and i guess post that let's get to my thoughts so not only I was excited about making this video because I was excited about the film, but also because I loved it. Honestly, I went into it with like mild to high expectations and the movie like it was in a way what I expected it to be, but at the same time, nothing that I was expecting it to be. So what I mean by that, it's what brings me back to the trailer thing. This film was what I wanted it to be in terms of being like surprising and interesting and really A24, not like A24 weird. Sometimes A24 goes a bit too, gets a bit too weird this film is just really interesting has a really um like a really thought out premise i was in awe throughout the whole film uh of the script like i was in awe at how amazing the script was because there's a lot of dialogue a lot of like exposition about certain topics um like some reveals and i don't know there's a lot and that's why i really want to watch it a second time because you grant has a lot of as i said monologues that like just tell you way too much and it's a lot to take in a lot of information a lot of things to think about because it's a really thought-provoking film it really makes you think about life about religion about a lot of things and in that regard it was what i wanted it to be but at the same time the story was completely different than what i was expecting so i think the at least the first trailer and as someone that only watched it once i think the trailer is really misleading and i love that about the trailer honestly uh most of the times trailers just give away the whole film and as far as i can remember i really need to watch it the trailer now that i've watched the film but as far as i remember from watching it once the trailer makes it look like it's something else and i loved where this film goes like there's a lot to discover 
a lot to think about, as I said, and yeah, I, I just love that. I was so engaged throughout the whole film. The first, like, half of the film, you, you were just on the edge of your seat, like, just trying to figure out what is going on, because I don't think the movie ever reveals to you what's happening until they reveal it so there's not a lot of hints i don't think so again i really want to watch it again just to see if there's any little details that tell you what's happening but on a first watch i didn't catch anything and when they reveal things slowly you just yeah, I was on the edge of my seat throughout the whole film. I just wanted to know what was going on. And the tension is so high, so palpable. I loved it. And on that note, I think I slightly talked about it. But Hugh Grant, Hugh Grant is really good in the film. He's, some people say it's a different character for him. But I think Lily has been doing more like creepy sinister roles uh, but he's really good in this one it's creepy but funny at the same time there's something really charming about him still and yeah I think he did a good a really good job and the film is mainly about him so yeah loved it back to more about the story and the script um, as I said so it dives into a lot of like religion. It makes you think it's a great conversation starter because there's a lot to dissect. Uh, but I also love that the film incorporates some pop culture. Not everything I understood. Like I kind of understood, but not everything made sense to me because I just, I'm not into one or two specific fandoms and these like yeah it has references from different parts of pop culture and i thought that was really smart and some of like the funny moments come from that and i guess the only thing that i just it's not that i didn't like but i'm not sure of is the ending like as i was watching the film like more towards the end I was thinking how are they going to wrap this up because it's a really strong film for like most of it and when films are really good in the beginning and in, in, in the middle it's hard to end things in a really fulfilling way so I would say this ending is not as fulfilling but I honestly I can't see them ending in a different way and I to me the ending was pretty straightforward but the people that I saw it with some of my friends they were interpreting things differently so again I think you can discuss about the ending as well and see it in different ways yeah, so I think this is a really good film and one that was just just going to keep you engaged throughout the whole film. Uh, one that I think you would benefit on a rewatch. So I, I'm really looking forward to watching it again. And yeah, I really enjoyed it and I totally recommend it. And post that, let's get to my scores. So overall, I'm going to give this film a 4 out of 5 uh, now that we are getting toward the end of the year, I'm looking at like my favorite uh, horror films and my favorite films of this year. And I'm just like, oh my God, this year was great for horror. There's some like, there are a lot of really good films and this is one of them. I'm not sure if this is going to make my top 10, but definitely making my top 10 horror wise. So, yeah, I really enjoyed the film. Totally recommend it. Cinematography, I think I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five. There's some interesting moments and I really liked the opening titles. They were really interesting. 
But for the most part, the film is well shot, but not super stylized. And originality, I also think I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five. I don't think the topics are super original, but it's handled in a really original way. Usually, religious horror is only about, like, possession or the church. Like, we have seen a lot of the same religious horror, like Immaculate or The First Omen, both from this year. So, this one is sort of a religious horror, but in a different way, and I really enjoyed it. It's, it's, it is original. So, yeah, guys, these are my thoughts on Heretic. Please tell me in the comments how you feel about this film. From what I've seen so far, I think people are really enjoying this. But yeah, tell me what you thought. If you haven't seen it yet, go watch it, please, before it gets spoiled for you. Although, you can't really spoil it. It's kind of difficult. It's not like a twist or a reveal. It's more of a few discoveries along the way, I guess. Um, but yeah. Go watch it, it's totally worth it. And maybe go watch it again, because I think, as I said, I think this will be a good rewatch. And yeah, I think that's it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!